When you're saving a file, let me just do something to it. Photoshop gives you two main options, save and save as, and you can find both of these under the file menu, right up here, save and save as. This is gonna be a different file, so I wanna save as. What I wanna do is I want to go to the operating systems save as dialog box, and this is on a Mac, and then I'm gonna choose my location, and if I save it as a TIFF, well, I'll have to show you something else to do that, but once I save it, wherever I'm gonna save it, let me save this one to the desktop, just to be different, I'll save it as a PSD. This, of course, is where you're gonna save TIFF, PSD, JPEG, all of that in this drop-down menu, and then I save it. I wanna save this JPEG as a TIFF. The first time I save it as a TIFF, and I'll go down to File, Save As, and I'm gonna save this as a TIFF, the first time I do that, I'm going to get this dialog box here, which says TIFF options. In the spirit of KISS, don't do anything. Just hit OK. OK, and it says that halfway through page 21. A few things to consider when saving your files. I'm going to let you all read through page 21. At the bottom there, a few things to consider. Uh, we've already talked about saving your master file as an unflattened TIFF or PSD. So a lot of this is a repeat on the bottom of page 21. Last page, file naming conventions. All right, I'm done with Photoshop for the time being. It's important to establish and use an easy to understand naming convention. Of course, everyone will develop their own system, but let me make some suggestions. I typically include an underscore capital N at the end of a file name for an unflattened master or archive file. For a flattened file ready for printing, I will instead include a print size, such as 11 by 14 at the end of a file name. That's why when you looked at this one, this one's ready to print to size. That's why it had the measurements in there. It won't be unusual to have multiple files from the same image. The original raw file, duplicated and renamed raw file, XMP sidecar file, the master file, and so on. Let me go to this right here. The first thing I do is I decide on a name for the image. And this particular image is called Bodhi 10811. So I make a folder, just like it says here, bullet points one through whatever at the bottom of page 22, page 26 in the book. So if I open this, you can see that I have all the images, I don't have the original file in here. I should, and then I would change it to the name I decided, which matches the name of the folder. You can see that there's a master file already in here. There's some to eight by 10, seven by 10, and, and so on and so forth. You can also see why I like making it a .psd format because it would differentiate it from all the other files if I had the underscore M and the .psd. So if I open this in here, and again, I can just drag it from the window right to the icon, then you can see this is indeed a master file with all of its various and sundry layers that I have for it.